Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Marcy Best, current independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and I'm from Clovis, California. Thank you for joining me today on this Sunday. I appreciate you taking out the time to come hang out. So I am I'm excited to be here today and showing you the Country Woods Suite. Um, it's a sneak peek. There is a couple uh, different variety of it. Country Woods is includes the Country Wood Bundle and the country lace. So I'm gonna show you uh, the country birdhouse that comes with it, and um, also the two different pieces of paper. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I've showed you already the, um, the different bundles when I did my pre-order, but I'll show you a little bit more about it today. Hey Melanie, hello, how are you? I'm oh, sorry, messages popping up, I moved my phone. Uh, hi Shirley, hi Pat, hi Carol, Renee, Stacy, hi Eva, Marva, Annie, Carrie, Melody, Brenda, welcome everybody. Brenda and Annie, both from North Dakota, welcome. Um, so I've been really packing and getting things, who am I kidding, I'm not packing, I have a stack to pack. I don't leave till Tuesday, so um, I am kind of a last minute packer. Uh, so when I need to pack, I pack the night before usually because what I do is I get up the day before and the things I use, I start putting in a pile. Then Tuesday or the next morning, the morning I'm leaving, I use my, like my bathroom items I'll use and then whatever's not in that pile, I know it's missing and I need to add to the pile. The craft stuff, I just have a huge pile over there and I started packing this is what I've got right here so far so I need to start packing my other items I need for my retreat that I'm going to on Tuesday so um, I'm super excited about that and I will be posting pictures on my Facebook business page which is Marcy Bessaker Designs I will not be here for videos this Wednesday or Sunday as Sunday I'll be traveling back home so um, but I you never know I may do a live but I will definitely be posting some pictures um, and it would be on my YouTube for sure. Uh, weather and then an earthquake on Friday. Marva, I heard um, one of my friends mentioned that she had an, there was an earthquake because she posted, did anybody feel it? Well, I'm from California, so uh, kind of familiar with the feel of earthquakes. So for those of you that aren't, I'm so sorry that you have to go through that. I've been through a couple of bigger ones that you definitely feel the whole ground shaking for quite some time. Um, and so, uh, stay safe, everybody. Um, okay, so I have a few quick announcements to go here. So again, my host code for April is right there. You can find it, a link that has my host code attached to it to go shopping down below. Also, it's on my Facebook page and on my blog on the front page on the right hand side. May's bingo. I am uh, registration is open for that. Remember, I do not have a bingo in April this month. There's just a lot going on, and the switching of the catalog and new st new stuff in and old stuff out. Um, it's been a super busy month. So May's bingo is open for registration. Don't forget, this week is the last chance product sale. It starts on April 9th, especially if you want reinkers ink pads, the things that are leaving, the end colors that are going out, which is like the starry sky, um, I already met Orchid Oasis, uh, Sweet Sorbet, I have to remember the letters, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide. Those are all going away. So if you want any of those, make sure you grab those with the reinkers, the blends, any embellishments, those will all be leaving. And of course the paper. Um, also, I have a paper share um, open. It will be open until April the 30th, which is the day before I could order all the paper, which I will order on May 1st. And then I will uh, get that shipped here immediately so that as soon as I get home from my incentive trip, um, I will get those all packaged up and ready to go. The, the envel envelopes and labels, everything will be ready. And as soon as they get home, I'll get them cut and ready to go to, um, right out to you. The last thing um, I shared last catalog, or last catalog, last video, is I have this cute, adorable pouch. It's a water 
um, it says it's, well, there was a thing on here. It's a wet, dry bag, and I can't remember where I read that at. But anyway, it is, uh, you could put wet stuff in or dry stuff, and it stays wet or dry. But I have it filled with all kinds of adhesive. And this will go into a medium flat rate box. We're going to do a drawing for anybody that purchases a hundred or more in the month of April. I am very close to earning my incentive trip, which the required disclaimer, uh, less than 1% of demonstrators earn. And um, so I am very, very close. And I'd like to uh, have you help me push over the top to get my trip. And for every $100 in a purchase, every 100 you will get a an entry into a drawing to win this along with a medium flat rate box filled with goodies so um if you would like to help out with that i would greatly appreciate it and i will also be doing drawings for other items um, for if you participate in this month's shopping with me for that um, i will be doing some drawings for other items too all right Oh, I'm glad you're here live also. Welcome. So let's get busy. I have been playing with this bird card. I will tell you, I came up with um, a really, really cute card for bingo. Um, I'm going to let you know which items I am going to be using for the coming bingo. They're new items, but you don't have to have everything, if that makes sense. And you'll see today with the bird set, because I am doing a bird um, house card for bingo, that you don't have to have the set um, because I'm going to be using the dies. So I will explain that as I go. I will be posting on my business Facebook page what I will be using in Bingo just in case you want to do it. Um, the other thing I want to let you know is Seaside Wishes with the Sand Dollars and the Starfish. I will be having a class. And so yes, I will be offering if you purchase that suite from me, the class will be free. I will be posting that when I get back. Um, I just want to let you know that, that just so in case that's on your list to purchase, um, if you'd rather purchase and get it for the um, free class, then that's going to be coming up soon. All right, so let's get busy. We're going to use the Countryside Birdhouse. I do have two sets of the dies because especially when I do bingo in classes, it is very helpful to me to have two. So um, we're going to have that. The other paper that comes with the suite is the Country Lace, which we will be using in the in this card. Oops, let me get rid of my, that, that's my blog up there, so let me just get rid of that. Um, and then we're gonna use the Country Woods paper also, and this these both come in the suite. All right, so let me move that over and that over. All right, so this is the card we're gonna create. And you'll see right here, this is the country lace paper. It's a little hard to see on this because it's so light, but we're gonna be using that paper. Um, and then the rest of this paper is coming from the country woods site um, paper. All right, so let's get our kit in here ready to go. Hi Lisa, Renee, Elaine, hello, how are you? Renee says, I didn't feel the earthquake in New York City. However, I am in the area for the total eclipse tomorrow. Niagara Falls is in a state of emergency. Oh, there are millions. Of, oh, gosh, millions of people. I bet. I am, so the retreat house that we're going to is in Texas, and it is right in the line of it. Um, this is going to be interesting. So I heard that, someone told me that, two people told me, that I'm going to be on the plane during the eclipse timing through Texas, I guess. So we're going to be on the airplane when that happens. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but, um, but then our, the house we're going to for the retreat is like right in the line of it. And I'm going the night before the retreat because obviously from here, I can't get there on time. Um, so I have to go the night before. And so uh, we'll see. I think that'll be kind of fun to, to check out. All right. So here we go. Um, let's do the inside. I'm just going to move this. I did do some pre-cutting and pre-stamping of some items. So we're going to use Misty Moonlight. The two layers on the inside and on the outside are the same. So the matte layer is going to be the four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And that's this layer. And then the same Misty Moonlight layer here. 
and then the white paper and the DSP both are going to be oh my poor dogs outside with my husband just barking like crazy the DSP and top layer are going to be four by five and a quarter okay so both of these this one and this one both are going to be uh, four and uh, the four by five and a quarter. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and add this first. My strip here is usually whatever strip you have available. I try to do it if I'm going to cut it and don't have something available, then I do three quarters by four. So it's three quarters of an inch by four. And I love the stripes on the back of this too. Look how pretty they are. They're like a, a gray stripe. Uh, sketched kind of look. I'm remembering at this very moment I gotta make sure I pack my silicone mat because that's a must. I need to fill up my glue bottle. All these things that you think about when you're using them, right? Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of glue. I just like to add this little strip just to kind of finish it off. I think it looks really nice as just a little finished piece. All right. All right, now we can go ahead and adhere this to our Misty Moonlight piece and go ahead and put it on the inside of the card. I've mentioned before, I like to do the inside just so I don't get things mixed up. So when you do bingo with me, um, or any classes, I will put all of the inside stuff inside the card base so we know what's what. But I also like to just make sure I do it first, um, just to get it out of the way so you don't grab that paper by accident and use it for something. So that's what I like to do. Okay, so now let's do these two. We're going to go ahead and, because I don't have anything tied around um, my front on my card, I'm just going to go ahead and adhere these and then set these aside. Actually, we can go ahead and adhere them onto our card also. Okay, I'm looking and my paper seems like it is too long. So let me double check my size of my paper here. That is right, so maybe this one's wrong. It is wrong. One second. I've used a lot of Misty Moonlight today for my bingo class and I bet you I grabbed the wrong paper so let's cut this really quick I'm going to do five and three eighths by four and an eighth hi Sherry I just saw your message but I see you know I'm doing a video all right, so here we go. That's much better. All right, so let's go ahead and add that. And set that aside. So for our birdhouse, what I did is I stamped um, this stamp right onto the DSP. So this wood, Country Woods DSP, has a lot of different pieces um, of wood. So you can just kind of pick and choose which one you like. And here there's a lot of different kind of wood. You'll see that I used this lighter wood here, this one for the house and the, the reverse is the darker wood 
So that's what I decided to use this for the bottom. And then I wanted to bring in the um, Misty Moonlight color. And so I decided to use do this, which is this one. And I cut the roof out. And that's the back side of this one. And then I chose this blue wood tone. And it has more of a marbly wood look on it. And so that's what I used to go on here. So just kind of pick and choose your woods to tie them in together. And then, of course, I'm going to show you really quickly the lace paper. So there's just a lot of different, that's that one I used. But there is a lot of different paper in here that have some really nice, soft colors to it. And I showed you guys these, obviously, when I did the um, unboxing video. But um, this set, I really love this set and all these colors. Let's see. It's finally in my room. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good, Sherry. All right. So what we're going to do is um, I am going to do some coloring. But right now, let's put our, our tree house together. And we're going to um, change it up. Just a little bit here. Let's see, we're gonna add. So you, what I've already stamped, now you know where things are gonna go. I like to add the top one in first. That way we know it's flush with the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that one. And then um, I have another little thing to show you when, during bingo. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different with the birdhouse. Not different, but just another option that you can do. All right, so now that's flush against the outside. Now I can go in and do come forward. If you were gonna start with this one um, and then add this one, I'd be afraid this would be off a little bit. And then, because these, let me come in. This right here, it really matches up these corners really, really well. Hi, Julie. Okay, so if you did it from inside out, that might be off a little bit. So I like to do the outside first. And now let's do just our small little gray piece here. I do too, Kathy. All right, I'm gonna use my tweezers because, it, and I'm gonna barely put it on the end right there, just so I can, you don't wanna add a whole bunch of glue because it's so little. But you definitely wanna add enough to hold your piece there, right? So I'm going to put, put it at the tip and hold it up there and then kind of just let go. And then what I like to do is take my pokey tool and just kind of get it to go right where it needs to go and flush. It should be flush right up against your DSP up here. Okay, so that's good. And now the same thing with this. I always do my tweezers in my right hand like this because this is how I'm going to work. And then I turn it over so I can do my adhesive. All right, again, put it towards the top there in the corner. And then I just like to push it right up against now the gray piece. And that was Smoky Slate I used the other piece. Oh, hi Margie, how are you? All right, so there's that one. I didn't think that this would become one of my favorite sets, but I have to tell you, I'm really having a lot of fun with it. Okay, so I noticed that I didn't do get my circle here. I don't think, nope. So I'm gonna go back in and pull out, oops, wrong one. I'm going to pull out this, and you could just use a solid piece of, um, you know, a dark piece of paper, but I figured I have this cut from the, from the stands, and I have a one-inch circle punch, so whatever you have, or you can always just um, cut off a piece. That's what I did with my first one, but then once I started prepping for bingo, I thought, oh, I'm just going to punch these out. All right, so I'm gonna add this on the back. And what I did is I just went right around the back side, just like that. 
and then I'm just going to drop that circle right there. All right, so I'm going to put this underneath it just in case it's sticky and then continue. So now I move my color in here. We're going to add this right here. Now notice in the stamp set we have this little wood grain piece. So if you just wanted to use a regular piece of um, cardstock up here or down here, um, or even anywhere, if you wanted, you could always pull out that wood grain and give it a little more um, interest to it. But we're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue and add this down. Now you do not have to stamp on the wood. Okay, so um, there's another one that I did um, I can't show you because it's bingo, but I did not stamp on the wood piece. I just die cut it out because you can't, I can't stamp for you, right, for bingo. So I just cut it out, but it is adorable. So you'll see that there's so many things, like Sherry said, there's so many options with this stamp set that you can do. It's really cool. All right, so we're going to leave that there, and I'm going to just set that aside and um, let my little circle dry. We're going to attach this here in a little bit. Now look, doesn't this look like the bottom of a coat rack? So I think you could do it like this if you wanted to, you know, like it's a stand, but I think it's a, it's supposed to go like this. And you really want all the prettiness up here with the birdhouse because down here you could add a plant if you want to or flowers or whatever to make it really be out like in your garden. Um, but that's what we're going to do with that. All right, so here is our sentiment. And I used the Hello Friend and I white embossed it on uh, Misty Moonlight. But we're going to do something else with that in a minute. All right, let's get our coloring done. So what we're going to do is we are going to take uh, Misty Moonlight. And so I'm going to do the light and the dark. And I'm going to start out with, you know, actually, I kind of changed this up a little bit. I'm gonna do just the light, because we're gonna make this super simple. Now, on your bingo card, obviously, I can't stamp for you. So you can add any flowers or any a bird or anything if you wanted to to your card, um, but you don't have to either. So I'm gonna go in with my Misty Moonlight, and I'm just gonna kinda go in lightly and just kind of feathery it out a little bit. And you can just add little specks if you want. I mean, there's all kinds that you can do with it. You can make it solid, and you'll see another one that I did. Okay, so you can do that. I kind of go around the eye. Don't, don't close the eye in, all right? And we can add that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna add a little more down. I wanna go to the edge so we have edges blue okay so that's the light misty moonlight and then what I did is I took the um, light pumpkin pie and I'm just gonna do the beak and I'm gonna do the legs all right and I'm doing this one just a little bit different I'm taking the um, light petal pink which is the color I used on um, our our birdhouse right here. So I'm just gonna bring in a little light petal pink and I'm just gonna put it around the eye just to kind of tie in the color a little bit. Now you could do the, the bird a little more solid if you want. And then I take the white lifter and just kind of lift up a little bit in some places. It just helps it blend a little and it lightens some of the color. Okay, so you can do it like that if you want. You could also do it solid and then add a little bit of this to lighten it. Whatever works for you. On the flowers, I did petal pink. And I'm going to start with the darker one. And I'm going to do the petals in the back on these two. All right. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom right here. And just kind of go on the line or a little on the bottom. So it's, let me get my, here we go. I think it's easier to see on here a little bit. Get the glue off. All right, 
And then we're going to take the light and we're just going to fill it in. And it might be hard to see on camera, but it does give a little bit of a different shade. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit there. And then I decided the pop of color I'm going to do is the Summer Splash. So I'm going to take the dark first on the leaves. And I'm just going to do like one line down them. Okay, it doesn't have to be all the way through, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the light one. And I like to come from the end of the leaf inward so that it doesn't go outside the, the lines of the leaf. And the colors are so close together that, and the, because the leaves are so tiny, but sometimes I do it and then I, you can see it, but I don't know if you guys can. There's a little bit of a two-tone color on there. All right, so then the larger flower and these two flowers, I'm going to take the darker of the wild wheat. I just wanted kind of another soft kind of color that's going to go with these colors. And so I'm just going to do the insides of the flower, of the front petals and the back petals. Okay, so it's going to look like that. All right, I'm going to do that on this too, just a little bit on the inside towards the middle. And it just gives them a little more texture. And now the light. Poor Sherry's on here and she's like, what do you mean you haven't packed yet? <laughs> I'm a propaccinator. Propaccinator, however you want to say it. All right, I do have my suitcases up on my bed, if that means anything. And I'm finishing laundry, so that's good. All right, so now I just kind of circle to where I can blend into the darker color, just to soften it a little bit and blend it. So you just soften those lines a little by going over it. And then I just do the center. It's not gonna matter because we're gonna put embellishments on the center, but so see how it just softens it up a little bit. Okay, thanks, Melanie. All right, so there is um, our flowers. So we have those two. And so um, with magic, I have our flowers. And then I did this bird a little bit different. I just did this one solid. But I took the, um, so I did the uh, light, misty moonlight on this one. And then I took the color lifter and then I just kind of lifted it up a little bit. So um, whatever, you know, whatever your coloring is, however you like to do it. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is on, on our sentiment, I'm going to take this and see, I think this fits. Yep. So we're going to take this and glue it on there because I just wanted to add a little white line around our sentiment. And again, I don't measure the sentiment, it's just whatever scrap works for me. And, but because I'm gonna make this one just a little bit wider, just because I happen to have this piece here. And then I like to use my larger scissors when I cut. Oh good, Eva, I'm glad you signed up for bingo. It's going to be a really good one, you guys, because I'm doing all new stuff. All right, and then when I cut anything, when I cut, I look at where I'm cutting to. If you're focused right here, it's going to go towards your thing or out. So when you, when you look at this and get it where you want it, then look up here and see where your blade is going to cut. I'm always afraid when I say that it's going to screw it up, but... As long as you're looking ahead, um, you, you shouldn't have any problems. So anyway, so there's our piece that we're gonna cut. We can get that out of the way. Let's add our embellishments to our tree. Our, our, I, keep, I keep calling it a tree house, to our birdhouse. 
soon as I can find it. Here we go. All right. I want to make sure it's nice and stable on here. I'm going to add one here. These probably could have been a little higher, but that's all right. All right, and then I'm going to do our small ones on here. So we're going to pop up everything. And then if you wanted, I have these little cut pieces that we can add. Let's see. I probably put them on this little curl. I don't know. I don't even know if I did put them on here. I didn't. So let's just do that. All right, because they're gonna they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be tucked under here anyway. All right, so let's put our our birdhouse on first. So I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be too long. So you're gonna put this on here like this, get it on the page, and then this is gonna go right here. That's gonna be too long, and we're gonna cut it. So um, I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna take off this last embellishment because I forgot. I mean dimensional that I forgot. So we're going to put that there. Let's get this off. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks, Melanie. So we're going to go to the left, make sure we're on the page, and just make sure your house is straight. All right, and then we're going to take this guy, where my dimensional fell, and I just want to put this right under here. Make sure it's straight, and it is. And then I'm going to cut. Now you could do this before you before you adhere it on here because then you could cut it for sure straight but um, that works too all right so let's get our dimensionals for our bird and we're going to put a small one right there and i'm going to put another small one on the tail right there I'm not putting one on the tail because you know what? It's going to hang off. I forgot. All right, so we're going to put this right here. Okay, so he's just kind of right there. And then we're going to add our sentiment here. So we're going to add our dimensional over here on the side. And then this, because this is raised here, we don't need one over there. So we're going to put one there. And then we're going to add some glue. And then I'm going to add my flowers first because we're going to be tucking our sentiment in. And I'm going to add a little half one right there. All right. I like that these look like they're hanging down, but you can do them however you want. I think I'm going to do them this way this time because it kind of looks like the leaves are hanging down and these are both hanging down. So I'm going to change this up a little bit and put it right about there. And then we're going to take our two little flowers and do the same thing. And I'm just going to add these over here. Oh, the one thing I did forget on this flower um, right here is I took the light misty moonlight and I just barely went over this little stem right here so that it does, it's just not black. It just kind of adds a little more of the, the colors there. So I did that. Oh, good, Cheryl. Yeah, this is a must-have for sure. Like I said, 
I liked it. I knew I wanted it immediately. I didn't realize how much I liked it because boy, have I been using this. It is so cute. All right, so now I think I'm gonna put this one. I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so there's that. Now we can take this, our sentiment. Remember, you want glue on one side and adhesive on the other there for your dimensional. And we're just going to tuck this in right here. All right, so there, oops, it's crooked. Twist carefully. There we go. There, okay, that's better. All right, so there's that. Now we need to do our embellishments. And because we have the gray on here, I decided to use the new gray, uh, basic gray and smoky slate pearls. The other ones are sparkly with the new in colors and I, that wasn't going, I just couldn't find anything. Now these are, it says basic gray and smoky slate. So of course the lighter ones are the smoky slate, this and this. This basic gray actually looks like it has, um, what was that color? Um, soft succulent. They kind of look, have, probably not on screen, but they look like they have like a real soft tint of a green. So I think you could get away with those for a green too, I bet. So I'm just gonna add these here. And then I'm gonna add this one over here. And then for the flowers, I used, let me find them, I might have put them in one of my bingo buckets, oh, here they are. So here is the um, ombre matte decorative dies, or decorative, not dies, decorative dots, and I did three of the dark it's probably Night of Navy, but I liked the darker of it versus the, the lighter. But this is a great set because it's got, it's like misty moonlight and then it gets darker. So it's got different shades of the blue, but I really liked the dark there. So I added those in the, in the middle of the flower. And usually I don't like to do different embellishments, but I really just liked adding those to the flowers and then these just being a different accent on the card. Look how cute that is. And then the other sentiments in this set are Country Birdhouse, hoping you have the best day ever, happy birthday, and then Hello Friend. So really cute. They've got different flowers and then let me show you the dies because there's a lot of different dies. So you can see here that you can cut out the the birdhouse, you have all those three, which I used on this card, and the birdhouse. The circle is what cuts out the circle in the middle. And then you have all your flowers, but look, you have your stand that we used. You've got this here that looks like it's hanging from the ceiling, like if you wanted it hanging on a rope. But then you also have this chain right here. If you're stamping it, then you can use it at do a chain coming down and holding it. And then you've got all these flowers and leaves over here and there. So you have the double one here and you've got two thinner ones and then a little um, a fatter leaf. And then you've got the different flowers here. So there's, um, but these two are the same, but different sizes, same with this. And then you've got this one, like it's like a non opened flower that you could probably do with this if you wanted to. So anyway, it's a really, really great set. Um, so I hope you enjoy the card. I know you're going to enjoy the card for bingo. The um, bingo card is for the birdhouse card is um, a fancy fold. So I will tell you that I have two fancy folds coming up in bingo. Bingo is prepped. We're just um, need to know how many kits we're going to be doing. So that'll That'll come. We still have plenty of time. Um, but what else did I use? I used um, the new Spotlight in Nature, which was not on our pre-order, 
but it was a set that I got for the after hours event on, uh, on stage. It is a beautiful set. So I'm using that. Um, I highly recommend that is one of the sets I highly recommend you must have. Um, it's the one with all the circles with the different, um, in the different, uh, die cuts on the outside of the circles. Um, what else did I use? I used, I don't know if I can see over there. Oh, the, the airplane set Father's Day is coming. So I made a really fun, um, Father's Day card that you can change the sentiment to be just happy birthday, a nice masculine card. And then the other set, I cannot remember the name of it and I can't see the stamp set. So, um, it's the one with the big green, uh, leafy die on it. So, and that, that one's going to be a really nice, nice card too. So thanks Shirley. Yeah, I just love, 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 love the bird set. So this one on this bird, you can see, see how I colored the tummy, um, the petal pink along with, nope, I didn't do the eye. I did do the, some, um, uh, color lifter on the stomach there up at the top of the, more like the breast area. And so there's so many things you can do and just change it up. Hi, Lynette. How are you? Thanks, Linda. Thank you, Annie. Um, so I highly recommend this set. Again, don't forget the Seaside Wishes. I'm going to be having a class for that. The class is done. Um, the, the, it's all prepped. And there's one 3D item in it. And I'm trying to remember. I believe there's a fancy fold in it. I don't remember. Oh, there's a super, super fancy fold. Yeah, so there's a fancy fold and a super fancy fold. I will put that class up for sale um, for registration before the end of the uh, weekend, or not weekend, before tomorrow night when I get ready to leave. And that way it'll be up uh, for you if you're interested in that. If you purchase that suite from me, then the class will be free. Uh, there's going to be three things for you to purchase. It's going to be um, the, because it's not a suite, it's going to be a bundle. So the Seaside Wishes, the beige paper, and the beige ribbon. So those are the three items that, um, if you get those, then the class will be free. And, of course, the class will be in May because uh, we don't have the product yet, right? So don't forget, again, Last Chance is on, starts on the 9th. So make sure you have your list of goodies, things you're looking forward to, to see that uh, is retiring or leaving. You don't want to miss out on that. Things go fast, so make sure you get those. And yes, I will include any of the last chance items if you purchase. It doesn't matter what you purchase from my shop for April. If it's $100 or more, you will go into the drawing. Okay, so every $100. So if you spend $200, you'll get two entries. So every $100, you will get an entry. Um, the other thing is, is bingo is ready to register also. So you can register for bingo. And then, of course, the paper share. You don't want to miss the paper share. There is going to be some great paper. And we have some specialty paper. And I'm also including the latte paper and the Zinnia paper. Uh, because that was part of the online exclusive. And that is should all be um, available to purchase at the beginning of May. If there are any issues with paper, I would let you know right away and we will deal with that then. But I will order everything right away and have your envelopes ready to go. So as soon as I get the product and get it together, I'll ship it right out to you so you can um, get your paper. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Remember, I will not be here Wednesday or Sunday. I'm going to be away at a retreat. Oh, you're welcome, Elaine. Thank you for watching. Um, so I will be crafting away. I think we have like 84 projects, different kits to do. So I'm going to be very busy crafting and creating and relaxing. Um, so yay. But I will be available. So if you have any messages or comments or anything you need, just let me know. And I will answer them as soon as I can. All right. Everybody have a fantastic week. I will see you a week from Wednesday. All right. Bye, everybody.